Okay, people, here's the deal. Um, I know you know what this is. It is a stick. That's right. If you guess that, you win a prize. Go and buy yourself something. I'm not going to buy you anything. But at any rate, this is a stick. In, in one year, I was in uh, Liberia, Africa, and I was in the leper colony. And I noticed, this is going to really, I just realized this is going to paint me in a very bad light. But I was drawn to these sticks that the lepers had. And I actually bought this leper cane from a leper in a leper colony in Liberia, Africa. And let me defend myself <laughs> first. Um, because I knew that it would tell a story um, that would grab people's hearts. Because sometimes I think we need to realize that there are people that are hurting and broken in this world that sometimes can be dismissed and forgotten about. And so this, this cane sets in my office as a reminder that there are people in need that are um, desperate for what God has given me, which is this love and this passion for them. So anyway, um, it, uh, the person that was using this, I, I think her name was Esther. She needed it because um, without it, she would fall down. Now, um, she had other people go get her another stick, but she was excited about the $5 that I gave her for this. Um, and this, this, this cane, this stick, helped her navigate through life. It helped her. She leaned on it and she, she depended on it. She put her weight, she had to, on this stick. Let me read for you um, chapter 3 of Proverbs, uh, verses 5 and 6. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Not with 10%, not with some of it. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And here it is. And lean not on your own understanding. I, I think that's where we struggle a lot of times. We have a very hard time trusting. And we have a very hard time not going to what we know, what we've experienced, our own wisdom, our own power, our own strength. And we want to lean on ourselves. But God right here in this text says to trust him with everything and to lean not on your own understanding. He goes on to say, in all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. I think that's pretty powerful advice uh, out of Proverbs here that is something you could work on this week. You could ask yourself, do you trust him with all your heart? Yes or no? Work on that. Confess the truth. Are you leaning on your understanding or God's? If you're not, confess that. Work on that. And in all of your ways, are you submitting to him? Because every single one of you Every one of us, we want straight paths. We want good paths. And so he's telling us how to have them. And so I want to encourage you to pick up uh, the Lord and to lean on his understanding over your own. And great things are going to happen in your life. Take care. Thanks. Bye.